In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a new project and write your very first script in Unity. So to start with, I already have Unity Hub set up and a version of Unity installed. If you haven't done that already, take a peek at my other video to see how you can do that. So once you're in Unity Hub, we're going to want to go over to this Projects tab and click on New Project. At that point, we can decide what version of the editor we'd like to use. If you have multiple versions, you can click on this arrow and select your version. Right now, I have this one version installed. At that point, you can choose from templates that are provided. And for this one, since it's just a simple script, I'm going to click on 2D Core. And then over on the right, I want to name my project. And I'm going to call it Hello World. and I'll choose a location where I want to store my project. Once I've done that, click Create Project. At this point, it'll take a few minutes to set up. Unity creates many different folders and a project setup before it opens. So I'm going to jump ahead in the video so you don't need to watch this, but this should take a couple of minutes. Once Unity's open, you'll see a few things. On the left is the hierarchy, where it will show any game objects you've added to the project. In the middle is the scene where you could add objects to your screen. For this video, we're just simply going to be writing to the console. That can be found down here in this tab. Also, here's the project panel, which will show all assets you create for your project. And over on the right is the inspector, which will show details about any of the selected items, such as the camera. Since we're focusing on your first script, let's make that down here in the project panel in assets. You can either click on this plus sign and say C sharp script to add one, or I can right click in my assets panel and choose create C sharp script. At this point, we should give it a name, make it one word, no spaces. So I'm going to call it hello world. And even though it's two words, I just jam them together, no spaces. And when I hit enter, it will then create a rough script for us to start with. To see the script, double click on this icon. It will then open Visual Studio. So notice, now that our script is open, there are a few things already written for us. At the top, it's connecting to some code libraries. We don't have to worry about that right now. And then there is a class called Hello World Created. That was made because we named our file Hello World. If for some reason this still says something like New Behavior Script, make sure to name this exactly the same as your file name so it attaches to your game object properly. And this here is just saying that it's inheriting some code from Monib Behavior. So also right now we don't have to worry about that. If you notice inside this class, there are two methods. And when I say methods, that's similar to a function if you've done programming before. One is called start, and the code inside here will run one time when this class is launched. The other one is called update, and that will run once every frame as the project runs. So that's about 30 times a second. Right now, we're going to not look at this and go right into start. Notice that this has an open and closing curly brace, and so our code needs to be inside of there. And it's okay to add some extra lines if you'd like to give it a little more space. That won't affect it. So we want to simply print some code to the console just to make sure everything's running. This hello world is really a classic example of what a lot of languages do as their very first program. So to write to the console, you would write debug.log. Notice those have capital letters in the, as the D and the L. And then in parentheses, I put what I'd like to write to the console in quotes. So I'm just writing hello. At the end of the line, make sure to put in a semicolon. Almost all of our code lines will need that, or C Sharp will give you an error. So at this point, let's go ahead and save this file. You can go up to File and say Save Assets, or you can simply do a Control S on your keyboard. Now let's jump back to Unity. Now I'm going to run this 
And on purpose, I know this is not going to work, but I want to show you something. So I'm going to say play, which is this play button up top, and that should run our program. And I'm going to look on the console tab, but notice there's nothing there. To stop playback, just push on the play button again. Now to have this actually run, we need to attach this script to an object in the hierarchy. So what I'm going to do is click on this plus sign and say create empty. This will make a game object and I'm going to just call this script. This game object's really only function is to hold my script. So what I'm going to do is take this hello world script and drag it to the game object script that I created in the hierarchy and let go. Now notice over in the inspector, it should show that it attached. If it gave you an error, it's possible that the name of your file and the name of your class don't match. So I would recommend take, taking a peek and making sure they do and then try again if it doesn't connect. Okay, so let's hit play and see if it works. Okay, and I'm gonna click down on the console and there it says hello. It also has a timestamp and some other information that I really don't need to see. So here's an optional tip. Over in the console panel, on the right, there are three dots. If you click on it, I can uncheck show timestamp. So now that only shows hello. And I can also click and change it to log entry one line, and it'll get rid of that extra information. You can always add that back later if you'd like, but I think this is a little easier to read. Okay, so let's stop the playback and see what happens if I add something to update. So I'm going to go back to Visual Studio and let's do the same thing in update. I'm gonna say debug.log, but this time I'm gonna say world. And once again, at the end, I want to be sure to put a semicolon. Save it and go back to Unity. This time when I play, notice it said hello once, but now it's saying world over and over. Over on the right, I can see about how many times it's done this already, and it's over a thousand, really. So I'm gonna hit stop. And that happened because world was placed inside of update, which will run once per frame. So when you're doing basic programming, if you wanna ha have it happen one time, make sure just to put it in start. Update would be something that you want to happen frequently. To see this easier, another thing you can do, up at the top, there is a word that says collapse. So it will only show each instance of something output one time. But on the right, it'll show how many times it ran. So notice hello only shows up with a one, but yet world had nearly 2,000 outputs. So it's a little easier to keep track of. If you don't like it like this, you can always uncheck collapsed and see every time it's output. So there you have it. You wrote your very first script. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos to see other programming and Unity creation tips.